Okay. Uh, when you're done with your site, or even you don't even have to be done. Austin back there added some hyperlinks to web other web pages. Okay. Or maybe you put in a slideshow or a gallery, and you want to see what it really looks like to people that are visiting your site. This is what you do. Okay. So. I'm just going to add one thing. I'm going to add a hyperlink. I'm going to show you guys how to add a hyperlink to another website. So if you want to, so maybe you, how many of you have figured that out already? Anybody? Okay, so if you haven't, now you'll know. This is taking a long time to load. I just got to be patient here. Oh, we have to be an editor along with you guys. Yeah, you're the editor. Mm -hmm. um, this is interesting. Let me re reload this here. It's going slow. Okay, here I am. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drag a text box over here. This is how you do a hyperlink, real quick. Okay, click here to add text. I want a link to Mrs. Weber's website. Okay, so I type in the text, Mrs. Weber's website. All right. I select it and then now I click that. Did you see what I clicked? Right here's the link. And if you point at it, it says create link. So I'm going to click it and then you just put in the website address. You can type it or you can copy and paste it. Okay, if, if you don't know the exact address, because some of them are really long, <coughs> just go to the website. <coughs> and then once you're there, point up here and select the entire address, copy it, and paste it into here. Then you know the whole thing is in there. And then click Save. Okay? And so now, that's what that looks like. Okay? I want to see what it looks like. I made a change, and you can do this after every change that you make. I probably should have shown you this sooner. Okay? You can go see what this looks like to people that, your audience, who's going to come view your website. Click Publish. This is what you do. You click publish. Okay, and it says uh, this is the address where people will find your website online. Use a subdomain of Weebly.com. Okay, let me tell you about this. That you need to use this because this one's for free. Try your name. If it's not available, try your name with a number on the end or whatever. Okay, because this website's about you. All right, right here. Register, and you know what? This you know why this one's for free. Yes, because right here, you're not paying for a URL. Like, I, I paid for the MrsWeber.net. I paid for that, and I have to renew that every year, okay? That's not free. You pay for that, okay? Um, it depends on which, no, it, but it depends on which, like, GoDaddy, I don't even know. You know, GoDaddy is one that you hear a lot about, a web hosting place. You can go. You can make websites and host them through GoDaddy, and they charge. Mine's a Heartland something. You don't hear a lot about it, but Weebly's one. You can make a website for free. That's all fine and dandy. But if I did it at Weebly, I wouldn't be able to say go to MrsWeber.net. I'd have to say go to http colon slash slash tracyweber.weebly.com. Okay. If I wanted my own domain name, like MrsWeber.net, I could click here, and it even says, for more professional online presence, and then I could request my own domain name, MrsWeber.net, and if it's available, they would, Weebly's going to ask me to pay for that. And I don't know what they charge. I don't do mine through Weebly. Okay, but that's why it's free. And go, there's other websites besides Weebly that offer free websites. Like you could do Wix.com. You can make websites there. Google Sites lets you make a website through Google for free. Okay? But again, it would have, instead of Weebly.com, it would have Wix.com. It would have Google Sites. And Google's is even worse. It's got, it's really long. Okay? Um, which is okay if you want to provide somebody the link. However, when you guys walk in the classroom... I want you to go there, and the quickest way to go there is for me to say go to MrsWeber.net, and then that takes you right there, right? Okay. All right, so anyway, we're going to use the free one. All right, so click that, and then click Continue. And now it's publishing. Okay, and there it is, Website Published. All right, now they're going to trick you again right here. Register a domain name for your website. Nope, we don't want to do that. 
This is the free one right here. It's published. As soon as I click this, it makes a new tab up here. And now this is exactly what my audience will see when they come to my website. Did you guys get something else that popped up? Yeah, if you type in the letters. Oh, you guys have to. Okay, go ahead and do that. I didn't have to probably because I've already published this before. Okay. Um, and then now you can see uh, when someone's viewing this, there's that text, but I point at it. It's a link. I click it. It takes me to my website. Okay. Um, that's my home page. <coughs> Here's my about page. <coughs> Remember, I put this into three columns before. Well, I only put information in two. Um, so you can't see the other, other two, other two columns because there's nothing in it, but. Um, anyway, I don't have a lot of stuff on all my pages, but that's how you can um, publish it and see what the audience will see, okay? Now, does that mean, oh, I published it and now I'm done. I cannot make any changes. No, okay? So you saw what your change did and what it looks like to your audience. So you could close that published view. And now we're right back here to our editing view. I'm going to close this little window, and now I can edit again. I'm going to actually go back here to my home page. Or wait, which one was it? The about page, where I had the columns, and it only had one piece of information in. I'm going to click here. I'm going to drag a YouTube video clip in there. How many of you have put a YouTube video clip in? All right, if you're unsure how to do it, here's how you do it. It's in the media section. Point and click and drag YouTube and bring it over and it's going to put some generic YouTube video clip in. Okay. So now you go to YouTube up here. Okay. And um, I'm going to search for Bellevue High School, Iowa. All right. Here's one. the first one. I'm just going to go with that one. Okay. And this is the one I want. So this is the one I want, so I'm going to right-click on that and copy it. I'll come back here to Weebly, and there's that generic one I was telling you about. If I click on it, oh, now all this pops up. So I can click in there. It says YouTube video URL. I'm going to right-click and paste, and then hit Enter, or click off of it. Click, click off of it. And now there's my YouTube video clip, okay? I'm going to finish what I started before. I'm going to put... Um, my slideshow in over here and I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna upload from the computer hopefully this will go a little smoother than the last time took forever um, right there they are uh, downloads okay there's my Iowa Hawkeye one we'll just double click on that it's gonna upload it Okay, I'm going to add photos. Let me go find my Chicago Bears. There it is. Okay, and add another one. Um, Cubs logo. Open. Okay, um, save. And now I have my slideshow here, see? Okay, now what does all this look like to my visitors? Well, let's check it out. Publish. I'm going to click here. Okay, it, uh, apparently it'll always bring me to my home page when I publish. I'm going to click about. Scroll down a little bit. There's my three columns. I've got on this one page, I've got a list of items. I've got a YouTube video clip and my slideshow. And I don't need any of this extra space. My my, uh, And if I got rid of this, my audience wouldn't have to scroll at all. That's why, what makes columns really nice. Okay, so that's how you publish and how you can view um, your website um, to see what your audience sees. Okay, you guys have any questions?